Lviv travel lovers. Hi, so today we're saying hello to you from Lviv. Lviv. It's a city in Western Ukraine. The last video that you saw us in was actually in Warsaw, drinking vodka like two crazy women. Um, <laughs> but there has been a gap of time between that video and obviously here. So when we left Warsaw, we went to Woj and unfortunately Misha got really, really ill. I think she was poorly for about a week. Yeah. Uh, you just didn't feel well, did you? No, no. I just had a really bad flu. Yeah. I had a head cold, I couldn't think straight. Yeah. It was just really horrible. And um, on top of that, she got a new client. I did, yes, yeah, so I was super busy. Yeah. And plus, I think we were getting to about three weeks behind on our videos. Mm -hmm. And I really hate that, guys. I really hate being so far behind. Mm -hmm. I feel like I'm not in the moment with you. Yeah. I feel like when we asked for advice, we've already left the city. So with all of that in mind, we decided to take a couple weeks off to catch up, to rejuvenate. <laughs> um, and now we're here in Lviv and feeling very good. Yes. Before we kick off our Ukrainian series, we just wanted to say a huge thank you to all of our new subscribers. I think we've had so many new yeah. Polish viewers. So many of you guys messaged us on Facebook and yeah. Instagram. So many of you commented on all of our videos. So thank you so much for following our adventures for Poland and we really hope that you're gonna continue watching our videos in the future. So today is the 29th of October 2019 and this is the start of our new series on this channel. We're gonna be exploring Lviv and Kiev in the upcoming weeks. For now guys, let's come back to this video and today we're exploring Lviv. It's our first full day. We only arrived here yesterday, yep. but first of all, we're very hungry. So oh, let's go course. and find some breakfast. Yay! <laughs> Catch you later. What do you have? Is it very Nikki? Yeah? Yeah. <laughs> this place. Oh, Borscht. It says Borscht, yeah? Yeah. First, we came to this place called Poshta, which means post office, and it's a really cool environment with lots of postcards on the walls. All of those postcards are actually framed, which is very interesting, but you can buy your own postcards and send it to your loved ones or your friends. And uh, I think it's a pretty good place for breakfast. We just ordered some pancakes, some coffee, so we're starting these series right. This place even sells some cigarettes. I've never been to a restaurant that sells cigarettes before. And coffee here is about 99p. That is insanely cheap. All right, let's try these pancakes. They look very interesting. They do. I think they're filled with apples and cottage cheese. Mm. Mm. Is that a oh, good yeah. start to your day? That is a good start to a day, yeah. Tastes amazing. You wanted to try, is it Sireniki? Sireniki. Yes. Mm -hmm. But maybe we can try that tomorrow morning. Oh, absolutely. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> so guys, by now, you must know that I am always a savory girl and Justina is a sweet girl. So I've gone for chicken and mushroom crepes and they look really delicious. Big chunks of chicken and mushroom. I'm just going to get stuck in. Oh. We love that reaction. That's so good. The sauce is so creamy and it's got loads of Parmesan cheese sprinkled on top. That is divine. Yes, <laughs> love it. And I'm sure mine are better than yours, Justina. Okay. <laughs> for breakfast box. Make sure to follow us on Instagram. That's right. Thank you. Bye. After that delicious breakfast, we actually came to a square called Rinox Square and we're getting some Poznan feels here. Look at those buildings, guys. 
very similar architecture to the one that we saw in Poland, very gorgeous pastel colors. And the old town of Lviv is actually part of the UNESCO World Heritage, so that's a pretty cool fact. And Lviv is also a cultural center of Ukraine. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna walk around the square. I think there is a town hall up there. I think we might be able to go up there and see the views from above. Let's do that. <laughs> See ya! <laughs> okay guys, so behind me is the town hall, so we're gonna go up the tower and hopefully get a gorgeous view of the city. But also behind me, there is a lion. And in fact, Lviv means lion. So there we go. City is always full of lions. I think there's about 4,500 lions protecting the city. We're not there yet, guys. No. Yeah. It's tough, isn't it? It's tough, yeah. Let's go. That was really really beautiful we highly recommend going up the town hall tower and see the beautiful skyline Ooh, of Lviv. Really yeah my legs are like jelly now though. really it was because quite tough. All the climbing yeah. yeah 65 meters so this particular place specializes in cherry liqueur and that's exactly what we have here they pour this gorgeous glass of cherry liquor or liqueur and uh, it was only one pound 20 and it looks amazing it smells yeah. really good and it's about 17 percent of alcohol so wow. it should be very easy to drink probably two days Dangerous, actually. <laughs> Too dangerous. Yeah. yeah. I love these glasses. Yeah. They're crystal glasses. Crystal clear glasses. Looks so gorgeous. nice. So yeah. um, I presume that we're meant to be ladylike and have a sip of this, not down it like yeah. animals. Yeah. yeah. Uh huh. So shall we have a sip? Yeah. Do you okay. cheer it first? Uh, yeah. Let's cheers. Yeah. Cheers. cheers. It's lovely. Mm. Can you taste the cherries? I can. It's such an amazing taste. And it's not bitter. I was expecting it to be quite bitter. Really? Yeah. Oh, it's lovely, guys. Oh, that's rich. No, that's Moorish. Really smooth. Винок це так жорстко, а віночок це лайт. Okay, light, yeah. <laughs> Lovely, yes. And it's traditional Ukrainian hair band, yeah. Oh, lovely. <laughs> it's beautiful, isn't it? Yeah. I like the colorful one more, oh, yeah. I think. Oh, okay. No, this one not nice. This one not nice. <laughs> Okay guys, so we just came in from the cold and we're currently standing in the foyer of this beautiful opera house. I'll just turn around and you can see, look at this stairway. It's absolutely gorgeous in here. Um, so I think we get to go inside and actually you can buy tickets to see plays and operas here. And I think it's really cheap. So if it's cheap enough, maybe we'll come back tomorrow to see a play or something for ourselves. How much of a princess do you feel right now? I feel underdressed. Seriously, I need to have a dress here. <laughs> what am I doing in these clothes? I know you need to look like her behind you. Oh, I know, right? And I think I saw that they're showing Cinderella at wow. this moment, so. Have you ever been to an opera before? Oh. Very good question. Maybe I had when I was a kid. Yeah. But I don't remember much about it. Yeah. Did you like it? I think it's very long, isn't it? It's usually about three hours. <laughs> we just came into a room and it looks like they're practicing for the play tonight. Thank you. Enjoy. Thank you. Oh wow, that looks amazing. 
amazing. So here we've ordered some borscht in a bread, in a piece of bread. There's a little lid. <laughs> it's like a little house for borscht. <laughs> so borscht actually comes from Ukraine. It's a Ukrainian soup. Uh, obviously the main ingredient is beetroot and there are some other like vegetables like potatoes, carrots, cabbage and it comes with some sour cream and there's some dill on the top and it looks and smells amazing. I cannot wait to like take it. I did not know that it originated in Ukraine at all. Yeah, yeah. Wow. But it's now widely eaten in Eastern Europe. Yeah. yeah even in Lithuania for Absolutely, sure. Yeah, yeah. So I, obviously we've had borscht many, many times, but I think we've never eaten authentic borscht in Ukraine. Wow, I really did not expect this to have meat. What kind of meat is it? Mm. Don't know. Mm. So good, Misha. Is that the best borscht you've ever had? For sure. Mm. Isn't that amazing? Mm. 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 That is fantastic. I'm gonna try some potato pancakes. It's not my first time, guys. Mm -hmm. Very nice. Yeah, no complaints. Really good start to our Ukrainian series. Great food. Okay guys, so this is actually in the next morning. We just wanted to collect our thoughts and tell you exactly how we feel about Lviv as our first day of exploring. Overall, we found the city to be very nice. Mm -hmm. um, all of the places have been designed so uniquely. Mm -hmm. And what I mean by that is each coffee shop and bar and restaurant is so quirky. Mm -hmm. And actually in tomorrow's video, we want to highlight that a bit more mm -hmm. because there's so much of the city which is kind of strange, kind of unusual, mm -hmm. but in the best possible way. When we were just strolling through the streets of Lviv, we kind of had this feeling that we're in Vilnius mm -hmm. and then the next moment we're in Poznan, in Poland, yeah. or even Austria sometimes. So yes. uh, it's like a hybrid of all of these different places. It yeah. is, and that's true to its history as well. Mm -hmm. I don't know if you guys know this, but Poland actually occupied Lviv oh. uh, many years ago. That's Same true. with Vilnius. Yeah. And it also belonged to the Austro-Hungary Empire. Right. And when it was part of the empire, it was one of the biggest cities. Mm -hmm. So that is ultimately why we have these different feelings when we walk through the streets all of the architectural designs it's kind of got a lot of history here yeah the last thing I want to mention before we jump on to our next video is the people here first impressions are that they're quite blunt uh, there's not many thank yous or excuse me's or sorry's um, <laughs> not many people smile back to you when you're smiling um, but I think that's just how people are yeah. and we're not offended no. I mean we're from the UK so we would say sorry to the wind if it was strong enough but for example when we just ordered our breakfast I actually said thank you in their language and she didn't even react she didn't even say you're welcome in her language or yeah. English she just walked off I'm like okay you know I'm trying here woman <laughs> overall here I do feel very foreign me personally obviously I look quite exotic <laughs> so um, I am getting quite a few looks of intrigue it's not racism yeah. or anything like that I never have that thought in mind no. I just look so different and I do stand out so if you are a woman or a man of color mm -hmm. <laughs> just bear in mind that when you do come here you will get looked at mm -hmm. but just go with it and just try and get on with your day i just got on with it i was filming everyone i was smiling and that's just all you can do yeah so we're gonna say goodbye to this video make sure you come back for the next one because we're gonna be tasting some delicious chocolates and coffee here in Ooh. Lviv so we're super excited because that is what the city is known for yeah coffee and chocolate <laughs> <laughs> so thank you so much for watching this video if you did enjoy it make sure you give it a big like comment down below what was your favorite part make sure to share this video with your friends and as always cheers, cheers to freedom, freedom. Woo!